Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Preston in Trenton World 4 and uh, just a little video today because I wanted to show you the recently updated Class 150. So this is available on Creators Club uh, so you can go and pick it up there, just do a search for Tintin in the Creators Club and uh, you will find it there. So you will need to own the West Cornwall uh, so that you can get access to the 150 and uh, I'm going to run it today as I can hear a 47 somewhere coming in where is that? oh it's over that other side look uh, I'm going to run it today just up to Solwick what I've done is um, we're on the Blackpool branches at Preston Station as I mentioned what I've done is just set up a quick route uh, in free roam I've spawned on foot spawn this train here so we can have a look at it and we'll go up to Solwick so uh, you've seen this one before it's in the channel uh, the YouTube channel livery uh, nicely created for us by Jason PFC who you've probably seen in the chat when we do live streams for TSW4 uh, here it is he's he's gone and updated it for me which is really nice we have the DTG ambassador logo on the side the basic yellow and red is still there but the wording has all been nicely rearranged and the YouTube play button has appeared which is quite nice so so this is there on Creators Club go and pick this up I'm sure you're going to enjoy it there's a collectible right there look I would need to be on foot to pick that up there it is we're all ready to go so I think uh, what we'll do, we'll get underway, shall we? Uh, we've got a green light, which is good. Let's get the brakes off. Proceed as the signals indicate. Right. You know why I'm clicking that, don't you? I'm clicking that thinking we're in the uh, the 142. <laughs> and I thought we were going to get an announcement about Solwick, but no, we're not. We're in the 150. <laughs> That's not a good start, is it? Ah, dear. Okay, so let's run the 150 to Solwick. Uh, we've got the shunt signal there. Coming out of Preston Station. And we're okay up to 35 miles per hour. So I thought I'd show you this one today because I've been talking about the uh, Pacer, the class 142 so Jason has done the same livery for me in a Pacer which is obviously you know more suited to this route and uh, that should be available any time there's a problem with the Creators Club at the moment which is uh, stopping that being available but um, hopefully early this week you'll be able to get that. So this will just give you a taste of what the livery is actually like. And we are just accelerating through 20 miles per hour so let's uh, let's put some speed in. I've added some fog as you can tell for this run. So I went on to custom weather, added fog. It's about 70% fog I think so I thought that would give us a, a little bit of a different perspective and let's just take off the power and we don't speed as St. Walberg's looms up out of the fog it's a lovely livery though isn't it you look at it from a distance. So I hope you guys uh, are going to go and download this. If you've not got West Cornwall, um, then of course you know you don't have access to the 150. So don't worry, that that pacer is coming. If you've got the Blackpool branches, you will be able to get the same livery for the pacer. So uh, that'll provide a little bit more uh, variety for you on this route as well. We've got the 75 coming up just as we hit the bridge there it is which side of the track has it actually rooted me on it's rooted me on the wrong side hasn't it I'm meant to be over on the left hand side 
I wonder if it will swap me back at some point. Anyway, not to worry. Let's uh, give it some power. So I'm running the class 150 here on the Blackpool branches. What I did yesterday, it's not on YouTube, it was just when I was playing myself. I actually ran a couple of the West Cornwall services in the pacer, so I just swapped them around. And uh, it's it's a great train to run on the West Cornwall. So if you do own both, you should find that you can substitute those services on West Cornwall for the pacer. Jump in and try it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with that. You can get up to some speed on the West Cornwall. It's quite a nice effect, this fog, isn't it? The screenshot that I took for the thumbnail, I took in Preston Station before we uh, before we departed, but actually, the fog with a little bit of sun poking through is a really nice effect. Let's just give a quick toot to the workmen there on Tom Benson Way. It's only a short run up to Solwick, it's just a, a few short miles, about five miles I think. And uh, don't forget, when you're running on Blackpool branches, I think there's only about three three trains a day that you'll find will actually stop at Solwick. So this will actually be, be the first time I've stopped at Solwick while running this DLC. Now that I've learnt properly how to set up a route in free run, <laughs> I was using it right at the beginning of the TSW4 and then if you're watching the live stream the other night I tried to set up a quick one up to Blackpool South and I could I, I completely forgot we had to set the route until uh, one of you guys reminded me anyway we're back in business now and uh, I will take some speed off because you can soon get to that 75 without knowing it there we go just under two miles to Solwick on this foggy morning. So tell me, pick the livery up, tell me what you think of the livery. Because I'm sure that Jason will create us over time a set of these liveries for you know, several of the locals that we've got. It does look good on the 158 and the 142 though. I think just because they're small units. Let's have a look at the bounce actually. We we'll talk about the bounce and the pacer. There is a little bit of movement there in the 150 look in the middle. Mile to go. So let's take off the power and we'll just. Uh, idle in you can see the factories there over to the left hand side just in this fog normally you can see Springfield from quite a distance as we approach with the chimneys speed coming off nicely Now possibly this 15 is us swapping over to the correct side, I think it is. So there we go, I thought we might do. That's quite a tight little uh, junction there. And this is Solwick, a Solwick signal box. quick look up on the road bridge driven over this many many times let's wait for the train here it is so just a short one just wanted to showcase that I will be back once the 142 is available and I will show you that one as well uh, but for now Please do pick this one up, as well as searching for it. What I will do is I will just leave a link to it as well. 
in the description so if you want to pick it up directly from the link you can do so and wow look at that look at the lean on that <laughs> we slightly went over the platform and there's a collectible actually shall I get the collectible before we finish why not let's just run out because oh dear me I've locked myself in let's go out this side we'll have a look around Solwick station and see if there's any more collectibles because I don't often we won't often I should say come to this station there's one do we have a route map anywhere let's go and have a quick look I don't know if we will unless there is one at the top of the bridge we'll just have a quick look anything down the side as the orange pacer goes through no doubt on its way to Ormskirk anything up here no we can't leave the station so that's us at a very calm and peaceful Solwick hope you've enjoyed the video please do pick up the livery it'd be great to see the numbers going up on this livery and there you go that is us until the next one have fun everyone see you soon and bye for now